So the NAV growth. So NAV is up uh, by 5% uh, and that is really a testament to the hard work we've been doing on enhancing the value of the portfolio that we have. We've conducted refinancings on a number of assets. Uh, we've secured asset life extensions uh, and we've also been driving improved pricing for our gas and electricity sales uh, and, and pushing service providers to provide lower cost services. JLEN is an environmental infrastructure fund. It has a mandate to invest in a broad range of environmental infrastructure assets. Uh, those assets have stable, predictable revenues, often with inflation linkage, backed by subsidies or contractual frameworks. JLEN's aim is to pay investors uh, a stable and increasing dividend that grows in line with inflation. Uh, we've always been able to grow the dividend in line with inflation in the past, uh, and because of the portfolio of diversified assets that we have, we see good scope to continue that growth in the future. Uh, that is a, an interesting question. Uh, it's true that the various different parts of the portfolio have different uh, characteristics in terms of profitability, but it also means that you pay up for that profitability when you buy them. Uh, so for example, solar uh, generally makes the most money per megawatt hour of electricity generated because its operating costs are lower uh, than something like AD, where you have to pay for the feedstock that produces the, uh, the gas. Um, having said that, uh, something like anaerobic digestion offers greater opportunities to improve the process and enhance the value of the asset once you've bought it. Uh, so I would say that all of them play a part and have uh, things that you can do to uh, to make things better for investors. It's also the case that having a diversified portfolio where we have a number of different renewable energy projects means that if one sector is having a bad day, perhaps the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining, another sector is likely to be having a good day. Uh, and it's that diversification and, and that sort of spreading of risk that, that we think is an attractive element of Jalen. I think it does show a, a growing appetite for ethical investing, um, but that's not um, uh, to the detriment of returns. Ethical and environmental considerations are really key to JLEN, given the, kind of, the kinds of assets that we invest in. Um, but we are still looking for solid environmental infrastructure projects that have the characteristics of infrastructure projects, such as stable, predictable revenues with inflation linkage. JLEN announced recently that it would be switching investment advisor from John Lang Capital Management to Foresight Group, but from the point of view of the investment advisory team that's currently providing services to JLEN, that will move in its entirety to Foresight Group. So it's very much business as usual, but with the added benefit of the substantial resources of Foresight Group, an established investor in energy infrastructure, uh, and has uh, substantial resources in terms of uh, asset management and also uh, deal origination and, and execution. The fund's full name is John Lang Environmental Assets Group Limited. Uh, we will be changing the name of the fund soon to remove John Lang, uh, but the JLEN name will remain.